Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I'm going to talk to you about five tools I think every woodworker needs in their shop. And what better time than right before Christmas. So make sure you ask your wives, your girlfriends, your boyfriends, your husbands, and hopefully come Christmas morning, you can unwrap one of these gifts underneath the tree. And if you don't, well, maybe some of that Christmas money will help you out. But I hope you guys sit back and enjoy this video. And without further ado, let's jump straight into it. All right guys, first tool on the list is gonna be a 38 inch straight edge made by Powertech and this tool comes in at $35. You can buy them from 12 inches all the way up to 50 inches. I find that a 38 inch is perfect and it needs to be in every single shop across America. Trust me on this. But the straight edge is crucial when it comes to setting up new machines and making sure the beds and fences are coplanar. I use mine to set up all my new machines. That way I know they're perfect and give me great results every time. Also, there's a nice little ruler down here that goes from zero to 38 inches. I don't use it a whole lot, but it's there if you need it. I got some other things you can use it for and I'll show you what I mean. You can use it to set up your planar beds and ensure the in-feed and out-feed tables are coplanar. So you get a nice consistent cut every time. If you're getting a little or a lot of snipe, it could be your in-feed and out-feed tables are not in line. This is a great tool to check and make sure. You can also use it when setting up your joiner. If you're getting inconsistent cuts, it's probably because the beds aren't set up properly. Using a straight edge and making the proper adjustments will solve a lot of those issues. This is a great tool in making sure the cutter head is set properly with the outfeed bed. You can also use a straight edge to check and make sure your table saw wings are properly in line with the main cast iron top of your saw. When setting a new saw up, this is a great tool to help make the process smooth and gives you that reassurance everything is level with one another. Another great use of a straight edge is to make sure the fence on your miter saw is in line with one another. I've had saws in the past that were off just by a hair and would cause off square cuts when you're doing cabinetry. Well, let's be honest, you need it to be square. So this tool is great for checking your miter saw fence as well. I can literally do a whole video on this straight edge right here. I absolutely love this thing. It's so handy having one in the shop and I just feel like every woodworker needs one, especially beginners when you're setting up new tools, your tools are so important when setting them up, making sure you get the proper cuts and everything is square, because I'm just telling you, you'll be so frustrated having all your tools cutting off square, and then you go to put stuff together, and it's all caddy wampus. Yeah, that's right. We call it caddy wampus down here in the South. But anyway, go pick one of these up. Links in the description. Other than that, let's go to the tool number two. All right, guys, next tool on the list is gonna be this Japanese Suizen pull saw. Not really sure how you say it. I guess that might be the right way. I hear a lot of other people say it the same way, but this is a tool I put off for a very long time. Being a cabinet maker, didn't think I would need it. I'm so glad I bought it. I use it a lot more than I thought I would, and it's such a great little saw. As you can see, it can cut softwoods, hardwoods, and when the blade gets dull, you don't have to throw the saw away. You can actually replace the blade and buy a whole new one. I absolutely love this thing. Let me show you all the stuff it can do. As you can see here, sometimes you get a little quick and you accidentally put a domino in the wrong place. Well, with this saw, you can easily cut it away, do a little sanding, and bam, it's gone. It's a great use of this tool. You can also hide screws with dowels and cut them flush with the workpiece. And once again, with a little sanding, you can make it look as if there were no screws during assembly. Such a great tool to add to the collection for this use. This is also a great tool for cutting overhang when doing banding around a tabletop surface or a workbench. No need to worry about cutting it to that perfect length. Just let it hang and trim it up with the saw. This little saw is so incredible. I highly recommend you get one of these in your shop. May not be something you use every day, but when you put it in your shop, you're going to be so glad you got it. I'll put the link down in the description so you guys can check it out. And let's move on to tool number three. All right, next tool on the list, I get a lot of questions about this tool right here. Everybody wants to know what is it, where can I get it? It is the Amana Adjustable Depth Stop Countersink Drill Bit, and you can get this thing for $43 off Amazon. It is a little pricey, but it can do so much, and I literally use this thing every single day. I'll bring you guys in for a closer look so you can see it in action. 
This thing has an adjustable depth stop that allows you to drill at a consistent depth every time. You can make these adjustments to accommodate multiple different screw sizes as well as different depths of the countersink hole itself. It's super versatile and can meet any of your needs. You can also change the depth of the bit itself so it doesn't matter the thickness of material this bit has you covered. And when you wear the bit out, it's easy. Just replace it with a new one. That simple. I know a lot of woodworkers on YouTube use this bit and you'll know why if you buy it for yourself. You cannot get enough of this bit. You'll be reaching for it every single day. It's incredible. Links down in the description. Go check it out and let's move on to tool number four. Alright guys, next tool on the list is going to be these benchmark double squares. I have a 6 inch and a 4 inch and both of them come in at $25 each. I love these things. was a little skeptical but bought them because I've seen some good reviews and now I know what they're talking about. Compared to most high dollar ones, especially like woodpeckers, so glad I chose these. As you can see, I do have a lot of woodpecker stuff but didn't really want to break the bank so I bought these and I could not be happier. The blades are made out of hardened steel. The graduations go all the way from a 32nd on up to an eighth of an inch and they are dead accurate right out the box. I'm going to bring you guys in for a little bit closer look so you can see how you can use these in your shop. They are perfect for laying out consistent lines when building furniture or in my case I love to use them for toe kicks. You can also check for square on your cuts to make sure your tools are set up properly. And they are great for setting a certain measurement and making sure you're consistent throughout your project or task at hand. I use mine a lot to make sure my face frame overhang is consistent from top to bottom to the side of my cabinet carcass. Man, I love these tools. So that's just a few ways that I use these double squares in my shop. There are plenty other ways to use them, but for $25 each, you cannot beat it. Especially compared to like woodpeckers being at $269, well... That's just a lot of money and for $50 you get a 4 inch and a 6 inch I mean, that's really, I mean, it's hard to beat that. I absolutely love these things, I use them every single day. I'll put the link down in the description below if you guys want to check them out and we can move on to tool number 5. And last but certainly not least is the fast cap lefty righty tape measure. I absolutely love this tape measure and this is something you're going to have on your hip all day long. I buy these like three at a time coming in at $7.99 a piece. You just cannot beat it. It is an incredible tape measure and I know you're thinking, oh, it's just a tape measure. Well, let me show you some of the features it has. First off, there's a little button on the bottom that keeps the tape out when you lay it down on a flat surface, which is handy for quick measuring so there's no need to lock it in place. But don't worry, it still has a lock on the top in case you prefer to lock it down. And have you ever measured something, got ready to make a cut, and forgot? Well, I do it all the time, and this tape measure has a spot on the side where you can write down several measurements so you don't forget and have to go back and forth and remeasure, which I find super handy. Sometimes when you get busy, it's easy to forget, and just that little feature is nice. Wait for it. There's a built-in pencil sharpener right on the bottom of the tape measure to keep your workflow smooth as possible. And finally, I just love the tape measures readouts. I think that having everything broken down in quarter inch increments and one sixteenths at a different color just makes it so simple to interpret, especially when your measurements are more complex. So easy for a beginner to understand and be able to read. Like I said, guys, for $7.99, you just cannot beat this tape measure. I order them like monthly and I just love keeping them all around the house so I never run into a problem when I don't have one nearby. I love it. I'll leave the link in the description down below. You guys can check it out. There are multiple different variations of this tape measure, but this is the one that I reach for all the time. So yeah, add that to the Christmas list. And all right guys, that's it. That's five tools I think every woodworker should have in their shop. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Might as well go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I can see the analytics. I know a lot of you people out there are watching these videos and you ain't subscribed. I don't know what you're doing. But you might as well go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I got a lot of content coming your way, a lot of things I think you will enjoy. So do me a big favor, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to check out any of these tools, all the links are in the description down below. And until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.